Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to my Towns LP. This is episode 7. Uh, so last episode, we had some difficulties. We lost some citizens to these stupid, stupid froggies down here in the jungle. Uh, trying to get my tree farm built, they were after these planted bushes. And they were running around the map, and, and some of them got ambushed. Uh, so this episode, now that we've got a tree farm going, uh, I'd like to expand more. Uh, expand my base more. And so are you going to stay in the hospital and get your... Yeah, he's getting healed at the hospital. Great. Oh man, look at this guy. 140 HP out of uh, 1808. So he's he's going to sit in the hospital. So these guys are healing, alright. So we've got... Uh, at least we have a hospital where they can come back and heal. Uh, so I've got to get beds and I've got to get weapons. That's what I really need. Uh, so, let's go ahead and minimize that and destroy. I want to put the beds in the middle, I, I think. And I'll just go ahead and destroy anything. Uh, destroy the stone. Anything in the middle, I'll just go ahead and blow up. and yeah, destroy that. Alright. So now we need beds. Uh, beds are furniture. Hmm. So let's have a bunch of beds made up here. And this might take a while to build with only one uh, crafting. We only have one wood working bench right now. And maybe, maybe that's okay. And that means um, not all my citizens will be working all the time on it. And they can have some more rest. And I think I'll go ahead and chop. Let's keep our lumber topped off here. Now somebody told me to have these barrels all set, these containers set to uh, not accept anything when I first make them, and that's a good idea. Uh, I might do do that later. Um, for now, I think I'm just not gonna build any barrels and and skip all the grief of uh, trying to set everyone to uh, some preset. Oh, actually, one thing that would be nice is in the containers menu. If you could have like some somehow uh, barrels that let me let me think here maybe have like a tiny button uh, on the side right here like a tiny little button right there and in that would have would have a pre-made menu of barrels that are set to just one thing. And I can quickly, like, just put down, if I say I want a barrel just for uh, bread or just for apple pie, it would be there. A uh, little drop-down menu or some kind of new menu there um, to make, to make uh, managing that really easy. Okay, so I do need more... More car carpenters benches. So I'll put one there and there. And I need another wood detailer. Put one there and there. And actually, I think I'll put. I have a do this instead. There, like that. I have three of each. And then I have a. And here, I guess I'll have a. There and there and then there, and there. I have four of those, and I guess that's it for now. Because I can't make. I need tongs, iron. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have these resources yet. So. So I think if I set up a kitchen. Kitchen tables used to make meat-based foods. Let's go take a look at the uh, production menu over here. Animals? Oh, this is milk. Oh, milk from different types of... Uh, okay, I see. You know, you ought to label that dairy. If it's going to be milk and eggs. But maybe there's more, more new food items coming. Um, snow pile. Huh. Jungle salad. 
banana and a blue radish? Mm. Uh, let's see. Is it butchering? Okay, so this is the raw stuff. So that's not meant to be eaten yet. Uh, so what I need to do is go to cooking. Uh, omelets. Hmm. Alright, so that takes a kitchen table. So I have... So without iron. So that needs iron. And... That needs iron. That needs tongs. So this can be made with stone and wood. A kitchen table. And what about a campfire? Wood and flint. Do I, I don't think I have any flint. Um, so stone and wood. A kitchen table and a butcher's table. So I, anything that's just a kitchen and butcher's table I can make. So I don't have the kitchen... So I don't have the cooking fire. A cooking bowl. I don't think I have that. Um, meat. A kitchen table. So yeah, all this takes is... Alright, so you basically you need iron to be able to make this stuff here. So that's still off limits for me right now. That's what I was really curious about. Okay. Um, I was still looking at... I wanted to look at this more last episode. Uh, vanity. So it's just a stockpile of every item in the game. Wow, look at all that armor. Huh. Cool. Raw fish. I wonder how you get fish. Maybe there's a new... F is there a new fish trap? Item, maybe? W oh, that takes wood and iron, huh? I... I can't, okay, I see. Um, maybe I ought to make one of these, too. And put that in the carpentry. The wood... Or the bone one. Just to have access to it, I guess. Um, a burner. I believe this is how you delete items. Um, could probably be useful for uh, all that mud laying around. Oh, I, I'm out of logs, aren't I? Is that the bottleneck right now? I need to do that. There we go. And, and again, um, if you missed the first time I did this on a tree farm, the reason I left these gaps there is so that my townspeople don't run all over uh, trying to put down the logs somewhere. They have a very neat way of putting them down right here in these little uh, spare rows I left. That's why. That's why I set the, the tree farm up like that. So we're still down to nine citizens. So uh, hopefully when I get... I've got, let's see, uh, 5, 10, uh, 15. I've got room for eight, wait, 18? No, 19 right now. Um, so hopefully when I get these spare beds set up and uh, get them... How is we doing on food? 9 and 9? Okay, yeah, fine. We have plenty of spare food. I might expand this even more. I could put... Uh, yeah, let me do that. And uh, let me expand that to the prepared foods right there and there and then order them to make uh, oop, what was that? A rooster, okay, who cares um, baking yeah, let's keep a stockpile of 40 bread on hand so if I, if I get up to 19 citizens, that's 2 bread on hand for each one of them so that should be plenty um, and, ooh, and the heroes too, because they eat food I have to remember yeah, I gotta remember to provide uh, uh, food for the heroes, too. <clears throat> Alright. Oops. So, still have... Yeah, that's what I needed. I needed all these uh, logs over here. Huh. <sighs> Uh, this game, this game is relaxing sometimes. That's why it's one reason I like it is uh, it's not an input-intensive game. You don't have to constantly be uh, on the controls doing something. You can just sit back and watch, and uh, that's a you know it's it's nice to have once in a while to take a break from other games that require you to be constantly uh, doing something. 
Yeah, this is a low input game. Uh, kind of like uh, gratuitous space battles, where you just uh, set up your fleet and then watch their performance. Uh, honestly, in gratuitous space battles, the, the battle part is really just a very fancy way of displaying the outcome of your planning phase. Oh man, look at that. Oh, <laughs> uh, what, what is that the result of? You guys have the... Oh, hauling is the least priority, that's right. So they're not going to put that stuff away until later. As long as they have other projects to do, they're not going to bother with uh, hauling. Because uh, it's a low priority. So wait, if I, if I sent it up to... If I do this, what happens? If, like, hauling is first priority, are they going to start putting away all the bread now? If that's, like, the main thing I want them to do? Yeah, look, see, there that guy goes. He's, he's hauling now. So putting the stuff away, see, that's... Okay, so that's good to know. I can change, change their behavior like that. So I'm going to put that down back on the very bottom, because that's not very important to do. Uh, but it's good to know if I really want to... Like, if I'm getting invaded and I need the walls up faster, I can have wall construction be number one. Speaking of walls, actually, uh, I should start... Um, I don't need that. Go away. I need to start filling this in and fortifying it to make it an actual fortress so that they don't have, like, open spaces like that. Uh, but for now, it's not hurting anything, unless a froggy gets into my base. But... Oh, yeah, speaking of that... Let's keep getting... I think, actually, right now, they're still making all that bread I just ordered. That's what the, uh, that's what they're working on. Oh, never mind. No, they, they finished that. So, now they're gonna be making the, what? Oh, the beds. Okay. I see. So, let's make sure we keep, uh... Keep a good supply of lumber here. Yeah. And how are they... How's the happiness going? Right. Not that great. Okay, so... Uh, another thing that'll make them happier is a dining room. So... I might... Maybe I should put a dining room right across from right here. Uh, right across from the bakery, and that way it's in a convenient spot, and they won't um, have too much travel time. Uh, how's that? Is that lined up properly like that? Nope, nope, like this. You know, I could probably just hit G and have a grid, except that the grid doesn't show up on the uh, walls like that. Okay, whatever. So right here... And down like that. Uh, that should be big enough. And then I want an entrance right here. Like that. And then right there, right across from it. Still nine citizens. Uh, kind of hoping for some immigrants. Um, I'm sure I'll get some when I get a proper dining room set up. Alright, let's see. Dining room. And then put that right there. Okay. And now we need... Uh, I can probably put some wooden furniture down in there so they can have a nice place to... Uh... Man, all this stupid mud... I'll come in here and destroy it manually. So I'm kind of wondering about the destroy feature like this, just destroying stuff, if this is like just while the game's in alpha, or if this is a, that gameplay mechanic which is going to always be around. Because uh, it can be kind of convenient. Um, just to quickly get something out of the way. But, I mean, it's not like it works on monsters or, or anything, any living thing, so... Um, I don't, I don't think it's really a problem. Maybe with the corpses? Oh, apparently... It just... Oh, okay. It stops 
giving off those stink clouds eventually. So there's no... There doesn't appear to be a threat yet of leaving the remains on the ground. I haven't seen a ghost, at least. Um, maybe it's the ghost of dead heroes. Maybe that's what what summons the ghost, and not not, not townspeople. Anyway. Uh, Alright, still got plenty of lumber. Are they finally done with all the beds? Great, look at that. Still nine townspeople, so I bet maybe giving them a, a nice place to eat their food, uh, they'd appreciate that. So let's make some tables, and actually let's do the chairs first. So I come away from the wall, do a chair there and there. And then tables, like this. There we go. So now they'll have a nice place to go and, and eat their eat their food, and maybe that'll make them happier. Okay, let's see. Tree farm. I'll make sure I have plenty of uh, plenty of lumber. Okay, so beds, happiness and uh, basic wooden equipment, I'm thinking, is uh, what I need in it. And I made stone weapons last time, but since it's so easy to get lumber from a tree farm, um, I think I'll maybe just make wooden weapons for now. And I think, you know what? I want to expand the carpentry. I'm, I want to... I'd like my orders to be processed uh, quickly. So... I think I'll make like that and have four of each of those mm. and then four of those Man, it, it really hurts being down a few citizens. You wouldn't think it, you know, would make that much difference, but missing, like, two people... Uh, especially keeping, like, all the food production going like I want it. Um, man. I just can't catch a break, can I? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that, oh no, I thought that was iron. It's actually just copper. Okay, well... A toady. Maybe they're like a more powerful version of a froggy. I don't know. Uh, that would make sense. I believe toads are bigger than frogs and they're more robust. Um, that's a wild chicken. I have no idea, by the way. I know you can make farms and farm animals. I, I have no clue how to do that. Poison. Bear trap. Spike trap. Log trap. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I've got a dining room set up. Well, we need one more. Come on. Apparently, they've been collecting bones from random animals that have died around the map, and they've managed to build these bone carving tables for me. Because I, I didn't even realize this, but look at that. It actually takes bones to make. I didn't know. How do we have a. Uh... No, no, materials. We have five bones. I could probably actually make some, uh, let me see here. Bone weapons? Oh, that takes iron, a bone club. Wait, that sucks. Bone sword? That also kind of sucks. Uh, armor? How about the bone armor? A bone carving knife. Wait, it takes a bone carving knife too? Hold on a sec. Let me see here. Uh, just look at the chest plates, I guess. Uh, 341 to 459. Those are the range of possibilities, I believe, that can be that can happen when you make it. So I'll just look at the max, I guess. 57, 459 compared to 57, 344. You know, for all the trouble involved in making that, I don't think it's that much better. Also, a bone carving knife? Really? 
Oh, bones and wood, okay. So wait a minute, does that just is that just gonna lay around the my town when I'm not using it? That's kind of annoying. I'd rather that just be part of the uh Instead of that being like a separate item that would just lay around on the ground when not in use, I'd rather they just uh, make it part of the like crafting station. But whatever. Um, renew fire. Low cooking fire. Renew fire. Burnt cooking fire. Wooden flint. Wood. Okay, so you throw wood onto it. Um. Hmm. What was I doing? Oh, oh, right, wood, uh, armor and stuff. Gotcha. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, oh, it's just a froggy. Hey, help him! You guys, help him. Can I order you to... Oh, wait, there they go. Yeah, gang up on him! Oh, he's screwed now. Nice. Oh, hey, check it out, they got a weapon. Cool. Alright, uh... Speaking of weapons, it's time. It is time. Let's chop all that. And I think I will make a weapons rack so they don't go all over the place. Uh, where is it? Containers. Um, actually, no net. No, I'll wait for to get... Oh, a tool chest. Okay, that's, that's where it goes. Alright, I gotcha. For the, uh, like, bone carving knife, I guess it goes in there. It's not a big deal. Um, whatever. Uh, no. Armors. Oh, hey, I got 11 people now. I'll go ahead and make 10 of each. And then, uh, weapons. A wooden bow. Now, the cool thing about the bow is that it, it does, it is ranged. So, maybe that's better... Maybe that's a better weapon for... Uh, yeah, I'm going to make bows for my guys and let them keep their distance from stuff. There we go. So hopefully I've built enough of these uh, benches. Carpenter's bench and a wood detailer. That this order of uh, all these armors I just ordered up will get made in a timely fashion and not take uh, forever to make. Yeah, there they go. They're, they're getting built pretty quick. They're just going to start piling up all over the floor right here. Alright, so apparently I got I got some immigrants coming in. So, having a dining room for them, it seemed like the tipping point on the happiness to start, start the immigrants coming. And, well, maybe it was the extra bread, too. Anyway. Uh... So yeah, I've started... I did what I said I was going to do. I started the uh, weapons get going up again. Um, and I even got some immigrants coming in. So it's day 15. So that means it's time to take another break. And I'll see you guys next episode. And until then, take it easy. <laughs>